everybody. Welcome to Rise Reviews and Demos. Thanks for clicking on the link. I appreciate it. So this is the moment y'all been waiting for. The 710 versus the 1000. And I'm going to utilize the equalizer on the app for the 710. So people are arguing that the 710 is better now that they added this equalizer that it's better than the 1000. Okay. I'm going to try to explain this as simply as possible. The 710's output is rated at 800 watts. The 1000's output is 1100 watts. Uh, the 1000 goes down to 30 hertz, plus or minus 6, and the 710 goes down to 35 hertz, plus or minus 6. So the 1000 goes lower and it has more wattage. So people are saying because the 710 has an equalizer, it actually sounds better than the 1000. Okay, the app does have an equalizer, but keep in mind, they're saying it gives it more bass. That's not possible, okay? Your max output is 800 watts. That's what the amplifier is going to put out. By adjusting the equalizer, all you're doing is bringing down the levels of the mid-range and the treble to increase your bass. You're not actually getting more output out of the speaker. Uh, I can get an equalizer on it. almost any music app has an equalizer, and I can do the same thing to the 1000. So for this demo, I'm going to use the JBL app and I'm just going to use the equalizer in there because everybody wants me to do that. The camera's not isolated, so you will get some vibrations. You'll be able to see the difference between the bass um, and that should suffice. I don't think the 710 can, can beat it for bass. Um, don't get me wrong. I love the 710. It's a great price. It's a great unit. It sounds awesome and it's way easier to move around than the 1000. Um, the 1000 is more beautiful with the lighting. It has the DJ pad, which I don't use, but it is a cool feature. And it has all the same karaoke features that the, um, that the 710 has. So features-wise, the, the 1000 actually has more features because of the DJ pad. Um, otherwise, they're, they're pretty much the same. The 710 is 61 pounds and the 1000 is 76 pounds. Uh, the problem with the 1000 is the wheels on the back are very close together, so it's easy to tip it over when you're moving it around. Um, they fixed that on the 710, which I do love. So with that said, let's get on with the show. We're going to do some uh, royalty-free music here with some heavy bass, and uh, we'll see which one sounds better. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy.
All right. So honestly, guys, it's 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 very close. I think the one thousand um, is it's definitely obviously louder, and the bass definitely goes lower. But that said, that seven ten has a ton of bass. So for the price difference, I would say the seven ten wins it. For overall sound quality, I think the one thousand is better. It just has a better sound to it. And you know you're paying for that sound. It's it's a it's a very expensive speaker, um, but as for bass, it's man, it's so darn close. The seven ten really does shake the house, but that one thousand just goes so low. So it's it's almost like a tie. But once you throw the price in there, you got to take the seven ten, man. It's five hundred dollars cheaper, and that EQ definitely makes the sound better for sure. Um, without that EQ, both of them playing just with their bass boost, I definitely like the 1000 better. So hopefully when they update the 1000, they, they'll give it that same EQ. And I think at that point, it'll beat the 710. But otherwise, um, with the price difference, I got to say the 710's the shit. Um, features wise, the 1000 definitely has better features. It has that DJ pad. It has all the same karaoke features as the 710. Uh, mobility wise, the 710 is the way to go. It's lighter and it has a wider set to the wheels. Um, so it's better for mobility. So all around, I would say the 710 is probably a better value than the 1000. Um, so that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And for all you whiners and babies out there, there's the video you've been asking for using the EQ on the 710. So I know you guys haven't seen me in a while. I've had some health stuff going on. Um, I'm also preparing for a huge trip out west. Um, some of y'all know I have leukemia, and I'm getting to the point where I can't walk very far anymore. Um, so I'm planning this this month long trip. It's actually five six weeks out west in an RV where I'm just going to like tour the whole west of the United States because I've never been out there before. Um, so I've been planning that, and there'll be videos of that of that coming up. I leave for that like you know somewhere around the uh, end of April. I leave for that. And then next video you want to look for is I'm going to do the Odyssey setup on the home theater. And then you want to talk about awesome sound. Home theater is the way to go. So I'm going to do the, I'm going to uh, demo the Odyssey setup. And what that does is it sets up the surround sound. There's a microphone. You put it where you sit. And the receiver will basically automatically set up the surround sound level so it sounds right. Uh, so that's coming up next. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. I'll see you next time. Cheers.